So here we have uh, the five inch, the five inch uh, UE MTK six five seven five running ice cream sandwich. So right now I'm running the Ant two two benchmark, and we're gonna compare the results with the uh, Galaxy Nexus. To see in a few seconds, it's gonna finish the benchmark, and uh, on ICS. So let's. Uh, Let's see the finished uh, benchmark. A few more things is going through. What is it going through right now? Testing SD card, SD card write speed. Let's go in here. This one is finished. So the Galaxy Nexus is 6144. This is a standard Galaxy Nexus result, and uh, we're gonna ch check this one. How fast do you think it's gonna be? It's gonna be very interesting. So the ICS firmware just arrived here this, at the at the at the R&D center. So it's it's a single core Cortex A9, but um, all these things. Let's compare the other stuff here. So if you have a RAM, 512 RAM. 512, huh? Not 1 GB RAM. Yeah. 512, so it makes sense. CPU. CPU float. 2, 2D graphics is actually higher. 3D graphics. Uh, what does it say here? Similar. Database I.O. Uh, over there. It's actually higher, the database I.O. And the uh, SD card write is faster than the Galaxy Nexus. And the SD card read is also faster. I don't know if it's maybe because, I don't know, some reason for that. The frequency is 1 gigahertz. And uh, so... So the information. Maybe there's more info here. Device info. Let's see what loads up. Okay. So it's six five seven five. Uh, screen resolution right here. So there's the imagination technologies in both of them. This is the SGX five thirty one. Here's the five forty. I'm not, not exactly sure how they compare. And uh, there's actually no SD card in this, I guess. But there's here. This one comes built in with 16 GB. This one takes any SD card size you want. Um, so this is like a test, test ice cream sandwich right now. On this device, which is 150 US dollar if you buy it in bulk. So I can open some things here. Seems smooth. This is a web browser. There's also a Chinese web browser which is called Puffin. You can go on all these, uh, all these uh, websites that usually don't work in China. That's cool. Go to Facebook. You can even go to YouTube. YouTube. It's gonna load. Even YouTube here in China. That's pretty cool. But um, so I try to install the Play Store because this is a beta kind of like firmware. So there was no market in the beginning, but I, I went into the Chinese app uh, app market place. It's called App China, and I searched for Google Play. And I tried to install this, but it might not be optimized right now because I think uh, it's not really launching yet. But I'm sure it's going to work. It's just for sure, it's going to be the the full play market in here. That's of course to be. We can confirm that a little later, but I mean that's for sure. There's going to be Google Play market in this one on this device. And uh, what else is there to test in here? Oh yeah, we can do a quadrant. Let's go in a quadrant. See what happens in the quadrant. Run full benchmark. It's going to take some time. I'm going to do it at the same time on this one. I think I installed it here. Where does it go?
Did you install it? I forgot to install it here. But uh, you can compare the internet when the result is finalized. Let's wait for it to finish. And this is uh, this back that looks like this. Uh, could, could you open this one up? Can you open this? Okay. Let's uh, see how it is again. So, and with the battery as well. Uh, not final. Okay. But it's not heavy at all. So, your device is here. 2,168. So, compared to everything else here in Shenzhen, like the old MTKs, this is the, this is like a performance that's with with a real Cortex A9 that's getting there. That's really like, if you want to buy a cheap device, this is 150 USD. Uh, you can get ice cream sandwich now. I'm not exactly sure where the you know there's this. Uh, I'm not sure how to get that button that shows all the latest apps. There's probably a way to get it in here also. But this is like it. You know, it's beta. It's the first test ICS on the MT six five. 7.5, the first, like, just came out like one hour ago. So, more tests in the weeks to come as this device is going to be ranked up for the mass production and the PCB is finalized. And uh, it's going to be cool. I'm going to try to have a sample so I can do more reviews. So let, let, me, let me know what you want to test on this. Let me know if you're interested in this device. I think it's pretty cool. Not heavy at all. You can put it on the on the weight machine here. And we'll put it turn it on. The weight machine says with the battery 189. And the other one without the battery. Without the battery, it's 125. So it's it's not too heavy. It's really cool. Oop. It's a prototype. So here I'm using the Chrome browser, so you can see it has. Uh, you can move to the next tab. You can uh, do like this. The full Chrome browser seems to work fine. Smooth enough. You can go from one tab to the next. You can go around here. So all this seems to be fine. I can even uh, uh, the connection. Yeah, maybe. Go to, oh, I'm click, I shouldn't click on the med. I wanted to click on the next, uh, one of these other tabs. Close my, to this, this one. This is page 5. It's going to load. Should load. So, that's a Chrome browser on ICS. And with Play Store, probably in a few days, a few hours. And all these apps. And everything seems to be smooth.